Hello amigos and welcome to episode 35 of La Resurrección and today Europa League quarter final action as well as an away game in La Liga to Atletico Madrid. Since you were last with me uh, it's been unconvincing as you can see a lot of yellow so we followed our two draws in the last episode with another draw 0-0 against Villarreal pretty uninspiring and then a 0-0 draw away at Alaves, which was uh, a bit frustrating as we dominated this game, just couldn't find a way through. We then narrowly beat Ibar thanks to an own goal. They did have a man sent off as well. They've been struggling. Um, this could have been so much more comfortable, but apparently not. But we got the win in the end, that's all that matters. Then in the first leg of the Europa League, we drew one all away at Valencia. We were lucky to get a draw in this game. Valencia dominated us from start to finish. They were superb. Michael Santos nicked a goal just over 20 minutes to the end. We looked much better second half, but we were still still subpar in this game. And then in our latest game, a 1-0 win uh, against Celta Vigo. Sorry. Andre Horta grabbing the goal on the stroke of hard time. Again, Celta Vigo had a man sent off as well. Much like the Ibar game, we were very much in control, but just couldn't make this result more comfortable. But we haven't lost, um, which is always a positive, although I feel that might come today. In terms of the league table, if we have a look, we still sit sixth. Valencia and Sevilla still have games in hand, but we have now actually moved clear of them. So uh, sixth place is ours. Bilbao, our nearest challengers. We are still chasing Viacano for the uh, fifth place place so it's going to be an interesting running I think our running is fairly kind after that so we got Athletic Bilbao after that after Atletico Madrid so that's a massive game if we can see them off uh, I think we should retain a Europa League spot then Espanyol, Cordoba, Valladolid and then Sociedad to finish the season Sociedad's still doing really well second place so uh, hats off to them in other news, uh, I have signed a new contract. The board come to me and offer me a new contract, and a very generous one at that. I was earning just under 20k a week. They've more than doubled it, and they gave me a four-year deal. So, uh, yeah, they're obviously very happy with my work, and obviously staying in the job is all important to the save. Also, Wilfred Boney looks like he could be on his way out. He's got a few end-of-contract offers from teams around the globe, uh, around Europe, I should say. And uh, yeah, it looks like he's going to be moving on. Jimmy Cabo has finally signed a new contract as well. Decided to offer him a new deal. And yeah, that's all signed, sealed, delivered. Right. Valencia, second leg. One all from the first. So we have got that away goal. And this is the team we are going to go with. Very familiar nowadays. So it's going to be Invogo in goal. Robles at right back. Keane and Alvaro at centre back. Sam Powell still hasn't quite recovered from his injury. Hermes at left back, Seri and Horta in the middle of midfield, Cabo on the right, Juan P in the middle, Pacheco on the left, Alex Muller has picked up a bit of a knock, won't quite be back, yeah, still got a week out, Kiko coming back from his injury, still got a couple of weeks, and uh, Michael Santos is going to be up top, so hopefully we can progress to the Europa League semi-final, which would be a fantastic achievement, but the first game was a tough test, so... I'm not sure how the second one is going to pan out. I think playing at home is obviously going to have its advantages. And I believe Valencia have changed shape since the first leg. But they've got good players. Rodrigo, Munir, Torres. That's a good front three. Solid central midfield. So they're certainly going to be a threat. But that away goal and the home advantage, I think, is, uh, is certainly going to be useful as we kick off today's game. First highlight, less than a minute in, Hermes... Interchange with Seri. Back to Seri. Can he get a shot away? Horta. We know he can shoot. And he puts his one pretty clear over the bar. But good early signs. Pacheco. Free kick. Oh, just wide. We've started this game very brightly. Just over three minutes gone. Two fairly good chances. Pacheco. Free kick again. Curls one. This time it looks like it hits the outside netting. But not to be. And it looks like a highlight continuing from that free kick. Torres knocks it down for Rodrigo. Burst past his man. Shot straight in Vogo though. Who manages to turn it around the post. That's the one thing about Rodrigo. He's so quick. Can make himself a chance in an instant. Very dangerous player. But the free kick comes to nothing. 
Daniel Vass has picked up a book in their right back. So I think a lot of our players come from the left so far anyway. But if we look to try and exploit that, if we can get him sent off, then uh, that will certainly help our chances. Rolls around to half time and I have to say it's a fairly even game. But so far we still hold the advantage. I'm going to say to the boys there's room for improvement. Let's get out there and try and kill this tie off. Corner, five minutes to go. Rodrigo Solo at the far stick and we managed to scramble it away. Jesus Christ, that was close. Right, let's try and sweat this out now like we did in the last tie. Literally nothing has happened since the last highlights. So, um, yeah, it's been a pretty dull second half, but one that I will happily take. Let's just calm things down, lads. Only a few more minutes to go. Only a few seconds. Can we hold out? We can. Cabo gets it clear. And Ngoy doesn't want to chase. And there we go. Nil-nil. We go through on away goals again. Look at that. 19 shots. We didn't even have a shot on target in that game. We have been poor. Outplayed. But we've managed to sneak through. Away goals being our saviour in the Europa League so far. But... Um, I don't know what to say to the players. What's the assistant got to say? Um, I can't think of anything particular to address. Excellent. Well, I'm just going to say I'm pleased. Because at the end of the day, we're in the Europa League semi-final. Want to keep spirits up. But we have scraped through. And I've never seen a team backdoor it as much as we have. So let's have a look. Ch Chelsea, Leicester, Malaga and Man United who won 10-2. On aggregate. So that means they won the first leg 6-1. Last time I, when I was checking scores in the first leg. I saw it was 1-1. That escalated very quickly. So we are apparently the best Spanish side in this competition. And I would have to agree with that. Sevilla and Valencia are below us in the league table. But um, yeah there's one quite clear team that I would like to face in the semi. I've got my eye on Leicester. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure when the draw is. If it's before the next game or if it's around the next game, I'll bring it to you. But if I don't see you for the draw, then it will be the Atletico game. Europa League semi-final draw the day after the game. Nice and quick. So, I mean, it's either going to go fairly well or horribly wrong. So let's just see how it goes. Chelsea, please be united. Ah, oh, bollocks. At home to Manchester United, who are top of the Premier League. Excellent. And they have a ridiculous team. Well, as long as... Oh, I thought... <laughs> For some reason, I thought that was going to be the one at Birmingham, but it's not. It's the one at Benfica. Um, yeah, they've got like Pellegrini, who's not even in the team. and He's worth 60 million. As long as we don't get absolutely battered... Then, um, I mean, they did just beat Sevilla 10 to an aggregate. So, uh... oh, well, that's going to be fun. Game day number two and away trip to Atletico Madrid. We've changed shape. We're playing on a defensive mentality, but I'm pretty sure this is what worked when we beat Real Madrid. So, you know, it obviously works. Um, yeah, we've rotated the team ever so slightly. And Vogo is going to be in goal. Robles, Key Navarro and Hermes at the back. Diego Dem is going to come in and play the defensive midfield role. Horta and Seri in the middle of midfield. Cab on the right, Pacheco on the left, Santos on top. So we've just moved this position back down here and swap Juan P for Diego Dem, who uh, has come in back into the team a little bit recently. He's done really well in training the last sort of back end of the season. And uh, yeah, put in some performances when relied upon. Same with Ngoy, actually. He's trained really well. So giving, repaying a little bit of faith, let's say. But uh, I think that mixed with the decline of Wilfred Boney is uh, is the why ingoy has got his place back in the team. But if we have a look at the Atletico team, Griezmann up top, Lamar, Martins, still pretty strong. So it's always going to be a tough game against Atletico Madrid. But hopefully we can conjure up another magical performance. Like I said uh, in uh, yesterday's episode, we've already beaten... Barcelona and Mer Madrid this calendar year. Can we pull off another upset? Highlight Atletico. Five minutes in. Lorente whips one in. Lamar is there. And Vogel gets a hand to it. And Martins 
It looked like for all the world he was going to bury it. Maybe Hermes managed to get a tackle or a block in. A bright start from our hosts. Corner on the stroke of half time. Sol with the header. And Sol beats the keeper. Lovely floated in cross from Thomas Lamar. And men around him. But no one could get near Sol who beats the keeper. Look at that. Three men unmarked there. That sonar marking may be really costing us. And Vogo beaten. And 1-0 on the stroke of half time. Apart from that and that early chance we saw. Nothing else has happened. We've offered very little going forward. So I think... As of half time, we'll switch up the mentality. We'll get aggressive. And uh, yeah, let's switch this up. We'll just go balance for now, I think. Don't want to come out too much. We start the second half in need of a goal. Corner again. Lamar tries to float it near that near stick in search of Sol, but he gets another cross in. And a defensive calamity. Sixes and sevens allows Griezmann to sneak in. Going to push this up to positive now. But Lamar with the corner in. You see Sol there again in the near post. But Horta heads away. Sergi Dada back to Lamar. Another great cross in. And Vogo. I don't know what he's doing. Having second thoughts about coming to collect the cross. Griezmann sneaks into that space. And it's, uh, it's easy pickings for the man. Who grabs his 12th goal of the season. Potential highlight for us now. We retain possession at the back. I've just made a sub, so it may just be a highlight because of that. But we keep hold of the ball well. Can we create anything from it? Santos, he's just about to be brought off, but he's through on goal. And Santos grabs one back. I'm going to cancel the substitution. Push this up to attacking anyway. But Michael Santos, a lovely ball over the top from Seri. Santos has just about managed, he's just about got the pace to keep away from the defender. A lovely finish from the man. His ninth goal of the season. Is there hope yet? Just over 30 seconds to go. Is there one more chance? No, it's a good tackle. And Atletico retain possession at the back. Although we do press them well, but they managed to get the ball out up to Diego Costa. And with 20 seconds, I think that is going to be that. A fairly spirited second half performance. Den with a great tackle. But I think it's too little, too late. Oh, no, we're giving the ball away. Vitolo, Dada, no, I think that's going to be it. It is 2-1 defeat. We never really looked like we were going to get something from the game. But a nice little sort of fight back towards the end. Tell the boys they did well. Nah, not happy. We don't, didn't put in a performance that we were certainly capable of. And uh, that ends that. Right, so... We're into the Europa League semi-final. That's the thing we need to take from today's episode. Madrid have already confirmed a Champions League place. That's pretty impressive. But uh, yeah, so as things stand, that's the league table. We're two points behind Viacano, who have got a game in hand over us. Sevilla have now got two games in hand on us, so they could overtake us. As could Valencia. So uh, we're back to square one a little bit. In terms of when we will be back, though... To be honest, I don't I don't think I'm going to bring you the United games just because I expect us to get absolutely humped. So uh, I think we'll just come back for the last two games of the season via Delid and Sociedad. We'll see where the land lies, see if we're still in contention for a European spot and we'll go from there. But that is going to be the end of today's episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please pop a like on there for me. Subscribe to the channel. I will leave a link in the description, as always, for the FM Creators Discord. Come and check us out if you haven't already. A load of good people in there. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Cheers.